Hey, tomorrow is the opening day of duck hunting. I can't believe it's here already. Tomorrow is home. Duck season eve to us is kind of like Christmas eve to city folk. Ho, ho, ho. Don't hurt yourself now. No, I ain't hurt myself. Instead of Santa and his reindeer flying around giving out gifts. Duck police. We have feathered fowl flying around giving gifts to us. <laughs> and in this case, dead ducks. How many ducks are y'all gonna kill tomorrow? I'm gonna kill six, that's the limit. Hey, no, I'm gonna kill one million. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill six legally with a shotgun. But then I'm gonna kill all the rest of them with this icy stare. Hey, look here. Back in Nam, my icy stare became so famous. Hey, I was approached by a professor in a wheelchair. I once made a water buffalo just. He said something about I had X genes and introduced me to his friends. Like, they was a bunch of weirdos. I'd have paid $100 just to watch you practice the stare. This is something you don't practice. Hey, I'd be falling out if I looked in the mirror and done it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh. <laughs> What y'all doing? What? Whatever. Have we gotten the duck calls done? Yeah. Because we're going to need them in the morning. Yeah. That's it. Tomorrow's the day. Where are we going to camp at on the property? Yeah, where are we going to camp at? You're going camping? It's a tradition. The night before duck season, we rough it. We're going to wake up and show nature who's still in charge. Manhood alert. Willie's back. Chase, I hadn't lost my rednekedness. Hey, Willie's idea of roughing it is opening a, a garage door manually. Willie's idea of roughing it is having the wrong comfort setting on his sleep number bed. Watching a DVD instead of Blu-ray, man. Having to unload his dishwasher because Corey's out of town. It's having a shower head that has only three massage settings. Having to actually walk you're not the camping type anymore. I mean, you go to coffee shops. The idea that Willie's gonna rough it with us. I order one pumpkin special because of season. You're gonna write a book about it. Is a bit comical. Give us the rest of the day off in the spirit of duck season eve. No. I thought you said you was back. Go on, Willie. Let's do it. Come on. Look. <laughs> Look, Look at this icy stare I got. Today only. Right. Yeah. Works every time. He is back. All right, well, let's go. I have two good traditions that get me ready to duck hunt. No bathing for a week and roughing it the night before. How do those two things go together? Because it puts us in the right frame of mind. There's a mustiness that develops while I'm chasing Oh, musty. there's a mustiness. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yeah. a little musty. <laughs> what are yeah. they talking about? Hunting season, it's already a manly time of year, but the Robertsons like to take it up a notch. Ooh. This is a declaration that we are lords of the wilderness. It's kind of fun just to see how far you can go. I mean, you remember when Phil went 60 days? And he never changed socks or underwear in 60 days. That's incredible. That's poor underwear. Phil, you going with us? I'll be camping out all right, but it won't be on that soggy ground you all in on. It's a tradition. I'll be camping out with that little plump woman that'll call your mama. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be my sleeping bag, the one from whose loins you burst forth. All right, Phil's out. I'll see y'all down there in the morning. Willie, where's all your grip at? I'm coming later. Oh. Give me a good luck kiss. What? Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 Back away. Back away. No, 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 no. OK, I'll be All right. Oh. Oh. Hey, let's get out of here. Head gummit. I got to wash my hands for sure. I still I still smell it. It's like it's disgusting. Ugh. That's why people take their garbage outside. <laughs> si? Si? What? Watch your teeth. Oh, look at there. For me, roughing it is about showing nature who's in charge. I brought my favorite pillow. I don't know what y'all brought all this stuff for. Hey, look here. These boys, they got enough stuff in their trucks that they could survive a zombie nuclear apocalypse. Sleeping bear. But look, 
They may survive the zombies. Come on, man. Because they're not much to eat when it comes to brains. Y'all brought wood? You doggone right. I'm hungry. They don't even look dry. All you got to do is get smoke, boys. Yep. It'll dry it out. Besides, that's like saying you need a fire to start a fire. No. What? You got a picture of this now. I don't know. The biggest challenge of listening to size stories is figuring out what is factual and what is filler. It's 18 degrees, which is cold for Louisiana. He starts giving you the facts. 30 on five mile an hour north wind, which is going to drop your chill factor down there to about 12. But then the facts are keeping people's attention. So then he gets into fiction. Indians on a hill doing smoke signals. Si, stand up, you idiot. What does this have to do with building a fire? Look, you got to let it develop, <laughs> OK? It's like a good roll. You got to build the dough and let it rise. Hey, look here. These kids today, hey, they don't know the value of a good story. And I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> hey, you've got to have a beginning. You've got to have a middle. you got to have an end. Two hours later, hey, I'm bone dry. This is not laser disc we, we're fooling with you, boys. This thing ain't got no fast forward on it. Was that, a barge coming? Huh? Barge on the river. Is that a barge river? on the river? You have got to be kidding. I figured Willie to do something unexpected or maybe embarrassing, but I had no idea he was going to bring the RV. <sighs> Once you bring something with wheels that's enclosed, you're no longer camping. You're parking. Why in the world did you bring that down here? <laughs> Why did I bring it? Thought we was camping out. Well, we're trying to rough it. I mean, that's not roughing it. Chase, I am roughing it. I got no cell phone service. <laughs> totally. Well, I got one bar, but it's no signal. <sighs> well, I mean, I could make a call, but it wouldn't be as clear. Boy, well, I got dizzy. I don't know if it's the smoke inhalation or all that blowing on this fire. I'm about to pass out. You gonna go lay down the RV? No, I don't want to lay down in the RV. I'm trying to rough it here. You're killing my wild spirit. I was under the impression, by looking at the beard, that you're proud of being a man. All right, I'm going back to the RV. You got an Xbox in there, Willie? Yeah, my kids play it. Use your beard for something more than a decoration. Coming on board? Yep. All right. Come on, Jeff. Where's your adventurous spirit? It's gone. I'm sorry, ma'am. I need your man card, and you need to shave your face. Where's your adventurous spirit? Yeah, well, congratulations, Chase. It's 80 degrees outside. Hey, if y'all need anything, just ring the doorbell. I need some string. Boy, these mosquitoes are Dear rough. Good God, they eat me alive. <laughs> the mosquitoes here in Louisiana, they don't play, and hey, they're not a joke. How are there mosquitoes in a stupid tent? They're everywhere. Mosquitoes down here in Louisiana are so big that when you slap them, hey, you better knock them out because if you don't, hey, they're going to slap you right back, Jack. So how are the mosquitoes not just tearing your butt up? Because he's old and tough. They don't want none of that old, tough meat. When you go in the woods, hey, rule number one, bring plenty of bug spray. That ain't a fire. That's a doggone smoke bomb. I can't breathe. Sir, so, what would you rather die of, encephalitis or smoke inhalation? Well, neither one of them had a choice. <laughs> you could. Si! What? What are you doing? I could not. Dug them snake that stuck his head out of that hollow. Did you get it? No. You never go in the woods without a pistol, OK? That's rule number one. What's he shooting at? Have you ever heard of the term ricochet? Hey, that's superstition. Sir. Si. Hey. Boy, this is fun, ain't it? Sweating, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, and all we got is a little bit of deer sausage. You got some deer sausage? Oh, duh. I'm going to carry groceries wherever I go, son. Are the mosquitoes bad in there, too? God. Terrible. What? You let them all in. Oh, good. Sir. Si. Si. Hey. That snake's back, boys. I ain't killed him yet. You got some more? There's a freezer full, it feels, but it ain't here. Hey, I'll go down there and get it. 
All right, look here. You always have your captain bunny's back. Yo, all right, that's rule number one in the woods. Have your buddy's back. You going where? I'm going to go to the field and get some more sausage. Ah, you don't have to walk nah, in Nah, I'll go get it. There ain't no big deal. He acted like he wanted to leave. Can you blame me? Hey, y'all. Old Cyrus. What are you doing here? This is a long story. You want to eat some jambalaya with us? Miss Kay's gave me a couple options here. I could do the right thing, go back with the boys, or, hey, I could just go ahead and uh, chow down on this jambalaya. Yeah, I sure will. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna kick it at the film case for a while. You think them boys down there gonna be all right? Was you eating what? jambalaya while they fighting mosquitoes? Hey, what them boys don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> How's the roughneck going? It's going all right. Anybody want a fettuccine? Fettuccine? I got about a gallon of it in there. What's in it? Shrimp. Shrimp. Cheese. Cream. Mm. Fettuccine. All the things I like. <laughs> mm. It basically comes down to two choices. Stay at the campfire and be a man. Mm. Or go to the Girl Scout meeting in the RV. Fettuccine? I think I'm going to get some. You in? <laughs> I thought you'd go eat beans. Yeah, you can have mine. And then there were two. Well, Sal will be back any minute with our sausage anyway. We're good. We're something, all right. You ready for another mellow dog, Jase? I cannot eat another mellow dog. Necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity gave birth to an abomination deemed the mallow dog. A deadly combination of bread and gelatin sugar. Are they eating mallow dogs out there? Yeah. Martin can put them things away. Martin can put anything away. Hmm. Oh, don't take this the wrong way, buddy. But you stink. Oh, I, hey, for the first time in a long time, I can smell myself. This has been one of the tougher, roughing it sessions that we've ever had. Well, hold on, you got a big mosquito. But tonight, we're sticking it out, despite the aroma of death. I'll tell you what's killing me, them doggone mallet dogs. How many did you really eat? There were two packages of buns, there's eight buns in a pack, and there were four left, so that's a dozen that we ate together. How many did you eat? Two. OK, I ate 10 then. That's impressive. What in the crap? All right, that's it. I've had enough of this crap. Get me out of here. Oh. <laughs> we have a defector. I guarantee you they overslept. That was a bunch of lazy birds. I was too excited. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I had a horrible dream last night on Field Case couch. I dreamt a lion was eating a hyena. Hey, I'll never forget that awful sound. Goodness. Oh, good night of living. Hey, they in there sound asleep. Let me see that thing, man. I'll get this smoke pole. I'll be their alarm clock. Hey! <clears throat> Come out of there. Hey, you snoozing sissies, get out of there. Let's don't go duck hunting. <clears throat> Who's coming? with it? 8.30 in the morning. And this has gone from the best duck season eve camping trip to the worst. I've been on the earth 66 years. I've never known of any group of men sleeping through opening day of duck season, ever. Jay, she went hunting? Yeah, I went hunting. Why didn't you wake us up? I went to the duck blind and get everything ready. On your way out, you passed a humongous RV. Knock on the door. An RV overflowing with the equivalent of Girl Scouts that have eaten too many cookies. And these are the spoils. Ooh, first ones of the year. The tradition is hunting. If we were going to start a tradition about hibernating, I would hang out with y'all. We still got time to get them, but we got to get out there and make hay while it lasts. You can't kill them if you ain't with them. It's duck season. We're burning daylight. Let's go. In the end, I just can't let my own brother continue to miss the greatest day of the year. I'm just that kind of guy. Willie, you coming? Hey. Hurry up! I gotta put on my pants. Come on, Pillsbury, doughboy. Let's go. Can I drive the RV down there? 
No. no. Oh, crap.